Everybody just I know typically a maid of honor speech would begin talking about the bride. But I'd like to start first by reintroducing the most important man in the room tonight. We know him, we love him. Nick, the bartender! Woo! I read somewhere that the perfect best man speech should last as long as it takes for the groom to make love. So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a toast. We are a few hours away from standing at the altar together, and I cannot wait to see how beautiful you look. These past few years have been absolutely amazing, and I cherish every second I have with you. I can't believe today is our wedding day. I have dreamed about this my whole life, and you have made my dreams become a reality, and I could not have asked for a better man. Today, we become one. You are my forever, and I've loved every moment of our journey together. I'm writing this letter to you to let you know that I'm thankful. I'm thankful that God gave me the opportunity to meet you, to be with you, and now to marry you. A few years ago, I was not the man I am now, and I would like to give you all the credit for that. You helped me grow up, and I wanted to do that because I could not handle losing you. I remember when we first met, you had my 19-year-old self so giddy every time you dropped me off back at home. And I was so excited for the next time I got to see you. I still get those same butterflies every day. As long as I live, I will strive to be a better man for you. I promise to you, my love for you will continue to grow forever. And you will never go a day without a smile again because that smile is the only thing that keeps me going. I promise to be here for you every day for the rest of our lives. I will be your wife, partner, best friend, and number one fan. We will always work together as a team. I promise you a perfect love and perfect trust. You're passionate, you're loving, and you have the kindest heart. I'm here for you every step of the way, and I love doing life with my best friend. The power vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your wife. I love you endlessly. Love your almost wife. I will never take our love and our friendship for granted, just like I will never take your best qualities for granted. And you deserve the world, and that's exactly what I plan on giving you. Abe, you are without a doubt the person who has taught me the true meaning of love. You are the most selfless person I have ever met and will ever meet. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true love. That moment came for Trent 21 years ago when he met me. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, there will never be a way I can thank you enough for putting up with Avery and taking her off of our hands. Seriously, she's a lot. <laughs> oh, 
the guy will do anything for the ones he cares about, and uh, any way he can help, he's gonna be there. There's all my boys out there. I think what I love most about Avery is how supportive she is. Friends and family, it is my honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Walker. Here's to the most two beautiful humans I have ever met, to Mr. and Mrs. Walcott. I love you too endlessly.